Welcome to episode two of What Sarah Said, the podcast where I, Sarah Houghton, will answer your questions. Uh, today's question comes from Steve, and he writes, Sarah, my dear, it's a little overly familiar, Steve. I don't know you, so I'm not your dear, but I'll forgive you that slight transgression. I am often asked by patrons whether or not they should buy a tablet or an e-reader. What is your take on this? Okay, so this is a question that I get asked a lot by every, pretty much everybody, family, friends, librarians, everybody, patrons. Um, it depends on what you want. So it's extremely situational. One big question to ask people is whether or not they care if the device just does books or has books and internet access and apps and other stuff. Uh, another question to ask is whether or not they prefer a backlit display like a traditional smartphone or laptop versus the e-ink technology that you find on many of the dedicated e-readers. Um, so for me, you know, I've got a computer, I've got a smartphone, and I just really wanted to have something that wasn't backlit that was a nice e-reading display. And so for me, an e-ink device made the most sense. Now for a friend that I just talked to over the holidays, she doesn't really have a computer at home. Uh, she has a smartphone, she has an iPhone, uh, and she wanted to have something that was both an e-reader and gave her access to email. That was pretty much what she wanted it for. And because she was already familiar with the iOS system, it made more sense to me for her to get an iPad because in that case, she's got both email and internet access, but she's also got that capability to use it as an ebook reader uh, as she wants. So it, it really depends on what people are looking for. So. The best advice I can give you is there's no one answer. It really just depends on how that conversation goes with the person. So ask questions, see what they want to do with it, see what their preferences are, see what technology they're already familiar with, and that will most likely guide you to the right answer for them. But as with all things, you know, we don't tell people to buy stuff. All we can do is give them the information and let them decide for themselves. So thanks for tuning in to episode two of What Sarah Said, and we'll hope to see you on episode three.